Hello, you are welcome to solve for x here. Let's take the log on both sides and we have log 100 raised to power x equals to log 200 from here. Then applying the power law of logarithm here, from when we have log m raised to power p, and here this is same thing as p log m. So when we apply this here, it means here x can come to the back here, then this becomes x log 100 now equals to log 200 on this side. Then from what we have here, we can divide both sides by log 100. So divide the other side as well by log 100. And from here, on log 100 will cancel each other. We are left with x, which is equals to log 200 over log 100. Then from what we have here, we can rewrite 200 as 2 times 100, and this will give us x equals to log 2 times 100, then over log 100 from here. Then also when we apply the law of logarithm, from when we have log a, times b, here we can separate this as log a plus log b. Now, when we apply this to what we have, it implies that we can write this as x equals to log 2 plus log 100, then divided by log 100. Then from here, we can separate this into two fractions and here this will be x equals to log 2 over log 100 then plus here we have log 100 over log 100 and from here log 100 cancel each other we are left with one here then here we have x now equals to log 2 over here let's write 100 as 10 squared then plus 1 from here then also from here we apply the power law here and this gives us x equals to log 2 over 2 log 10 then plus 1. And from here, we can as well rewrite this. We can write 1 first and say this is 1 plus. Here we have, when we separate this, we can write it as 1 over 2 times log 2 over log 10. And from here, log 10, same thing as 1. Then it implies we have x now equals to 1 plus half log 2. So here we have the solution to this given problem as x equals to 1 plus half log 2. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.